William Carey University's president, Tommy King, is set to retire this fall. Fox 23's Delaney Dukes has more on his legacy. With the retirement of William Carey's president set for the fall, we take a look back at the impact Dr. King has left on this university's campus. There's no doubt that Dr. King will be added to the list of presidents that have left a huge impact on the university. His journey with the university started on the undergrad level. He received his degree from William Carey in 1964. I really never left after he graduated because he was always, he's always been connected with William Carey. After being a student, King served as an adjunct professor, Carey trustee, department chair, then on to executive vice president. In 2007, Tommy King was named the ninth president of the university and the first and only graduate to be named president. Under his leadership, the WCU College of Osteopathic Medicine was opened and admitted their first class in 2010. In 2017, the campus was hit with an EF3 tornado that left most of the campus in ruins. King led the recovery efforts for the next five years to build the campus back up. Notorious for leaving a mark everywhere he goes, of course, his legacy with the university is beyond compare with anybody. And when you talk about Tommy King, uh, you can't just talk about William Carey. He's touched so much more than just Carey. He touched school districts as a principal and teacher, just years and years in the school business, and left his mark on Baptist churches. He has touched really every component of community life, not just in the Pine Belt, but in Mississippi. With a building and a street next to the university named in his honor, Dr. King's legacy is sure to live on for future crusaders. Those of us who will continue after his retirement, uh, anything that we do, any accomplishment or great things in the future that William Carey achieves will only be possible because of the foundation that he laid. The university invites the public to a retirement reception held for Dr. King this Thursday, July 28th, 4.30 to 6 at the King Student Center. Delaney Dukes, Fox 23 News.